Hey YouTube, good afternoon. Welcome on this beautiful day here in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful the Netherlands. Nothing beautiful than the Netherlands, yo. Just kidding. Anyway, today my friends, I have a very beautiful laptop that I want to show to you. And it's one that I already had one from. But it was like the bigger brother of this one. And it was um, the e-machine. It's the e-machine from Acer. Yep, yep. And uh, there are quite big differences between this one and that one. But um, in fact, they look kind of alike, you know. So I could get this one. I could trade this one with one of my other devices. And I trade it against the, uh, the Acer e-machine. The, uh, the E510 you know and I haven't seen too much reviews of this laptop I saw one or two in some strange language I could not understand so I thought this was a good opportunity to go for this machine okay and um, well this one is kind of special that's why I was whistling my 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 Eureka song you know and uh, nothing better than drinking a cup of coffee while you're talking to the most beautiful people in the world right okay so this laptop my friends as you can see uh, it's really really nice and and I will show it to you a little bit let me give you a closer look it's the e-machine from Acer what is that Apple sticker doing there well this is the yellow apple sticker that I created, uh, that was created by my friend Sticker Fritz here at Groningen. So Sticker Fritz, thank you, man. And uh, well, he created them for me just for fun, so that when I make a, a Mac device from a normal computer, that I can give it the Mac approved sticker. Okay. Um, the e machine is a well, it's a nice laptop, I think. Here you have a power source. You can connect the extra monitor to the thing. You have one, two USB ports and a network hub port. And of course the microphone input and the sound card. And, <laughs> and, and my friend, a very, very, very easy way. Because this is very important if you buy a laptop, especially second hand laptop. And a new laptop as well. You must see that this cover should be easy to remove to clean the fan we're gonna do a review on this one because i just got this machine and i have to open her because i know that she's full with dust because eh? uh, this uh, thing was from a, from a student and she yeah she always uh, was sitting on her bed so I, I know there is dust in here you know once in a while the thing is turning you know i know it's out of uh, balance this dust in it but it doesn't matter it doesn't give too much for now because it's still doing very good okay so I'm gonna make a little review about this thing and I'm gonna show you what I created of the e-machine E510 I'm gonna show you this beautiful laptop because you might be like hey nice laptop I want uh, one like this because I'm poor and I want one I'm gonna turn it on for you. You can also see that I have a Wi-Fi stick inserted, not because the Wi-Fi card is not working, but for another reason that you will see after the boot up. Yes, as you can see, the same apple that is on the <laughs> On the main board is also starting up and uh, as you can see you guys will be like oh that's a really nice transformation pack it almost looks real yeah it almost looks real but then again it's not a transformation pack though this is uh, <laughs> this is iOS 6.3 10.6.3 
and as you can see the Wi-Fi is connected it's already connected I don't have to do anything it's already connected and these are some native drivers I downloaded okay here you can see um, that I have um, Mac OS Snow Leopard installed on this thing and I will try to zoom in for my dear friends there so they can see on the one processor one gigabyte of RAM so that's not uh, not so much and it's a 10.6.3 we can hit more information tab here more info and then we will get the rest of the other settings this is not a transformation pack this is the original uh, iAdcos S3 version and uh, well, I've been playing with it since yesterday, and I did a real hard job finding the right settings. I tell you, I tell you, it was not easy. There was nothing such as a, a help a desk or a board where I could, you know, get information about how to do it. So, you know, I just popped in the DVD and checked out the selections and you know f did uh, at least four times uh, wrong but then I was improving and at the fifth time I shouted Eureka but then the Wi-Fi wasn't working the Wi-Fi module and I thought that I selected a wrong driver I selected the... Uh, as, what, what, what was it? also and uh, I, I I heard or read somewhere that it also had the Broadcom so I could choose out of two but then again uh, choosing one of them was giving me problems and the thing would like get the kernel panic I don't know anymore but then after I came home Friday morning Saturday morning from the discotheque been there till like seven o'clock in the morning because I was spinning tunes you know we were at the reggae jam I came home and then I was thinking about it you know while DJing what it could be and then I came home and then and I did it I did it in one time and uh, I also remembered the settings you know but then it was not starting up the system so I did it then one more time I also uh, selected the RK 500 drivers for this thing uh, and that will give you Wi-Fi you know that will give you Wi-Fi that's really cool because now you will be able to uh, to connect to Wi-Fi because I could not find a way to um, to inst to install the uh, Wi-Fi module, cause you know I I, I just it's just not working. So I must find the text that will let it work, you know. But uh, it's been done now, as you can see. Um, Snow Leopard on uh, the E machine, the E five hundred and ten from Acer. A very very lovely lovely lovely. And also, I think very cool and strong laptop. Uh, I think uh, if I pop in, let's say, yeah, if I pop in another gigabyte of memory, this thing will have two gigabytes. I think then it will be like fast enough, you know. But for now, I can do everything. Um, everything is working just fine. Things like it's not lagging up, it's not slow or whatever, you know iTunes and the coolest thing is the Wi-Fi stick and if you want to know what kind of Wi-Fi stick this is this is the 4454 from Eminent I love Eminent, Eminent make very very good uh, sticks for, for, yeah, for Mac very cheap sticks music plays just fine of course the sound is not so good as uh, that comes out of my, uh, what was it, <laughs> my compact Armada 1700, that one has a better sound than this thing, but then again, <laughs> yeah.
you want to know uh, how to install and what to select, well, I can tell it to you. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, you must uh, select the things I will show you now. We will go through the list and I will call them one by one. And then uh, you can also try it out on your probably lying around E510. Okay, now after you boot it with the, the S3 DVD, choose your language, partition the hard drive, create a Mac Journal hard drive. Uh, partition then you will get after clicking next and after clicking agree you will come into the custom customization part and the first thing you're gonna see is that I add cost s3 main system is selected okay it's important uh, to know that this is the main operating system you cannot de-click it so you know if you make a mistake and you will have to boot again with this DVD if you don't know nothing about Mac etc then you will have to do everything one more time all over again after reformatting the hard drive it's not that you can boot up and then deselect this here the I at cost and then continue you should remember that it's important because it might save you a lot of time okay um, as you can see Azir BLN V119 is already selected just leave it like that at the bootloader options you don't select anything at USB you can select USB hub fix just select them all the three it's all good uh, quiet boot legacy logo UUID I did not select if you know why you should select them then you must select them Patches, as you can see, at the patches extra directory, fake SMC disabler, and RTC is selected already. Just leave it that way. Kernels, modified kernels. We're gonna get the goops for this machine, the 10300. Or what did I say? The 10300. Don't select any other. Just select the first one. Then uh, we go to uh, sleep enabler select that one and select USB at the main hardware we will select only the first one AHCI SATA just select that as you can see in Fudu we see that uh, both are selected um, deselect the Apple HDA and go only for the Fudu HDA in PS2 select Apple PS2 Fudu PS2 will give you a mouse that will be uncontrollable uncontrollable on your on your mouse pad of your E510 for CP uh, management you can uh, go for uh, Fudu P state works with most processors laptop hardware you can select battery uh, that's the only thing I selected battery NTFS 3G don't select anything there VGA don't select anything now we're gonna continue with the rest okay we don't select anything at VGA just scroll down in network I have a set uh, thing to say is that I choose for a terrorist and then it didn't work a terrorist core i7 fix I selected both didn't work I selected Broadcom didn't work but in our case if you want to use the 4454 eminent USB stick just like me then you can go for the RT the RT here you can see it the Ralink RT RT 2532 bit okay that is that uh, is the driver for the eminent uh, uh, 50 what was it 4454 yes the white stick I'm using uh, so you select that one if you're gonna use that stick I also have bad news for the wired um, I could not uh, I did not discover yet what kind of driver uh, should be used uh, 
for this thing I'm not really using it with with the cable so I don't really care about modems or you know network cards because I'm not using them but I could try to maybe you can do me can do a little update on that one for me I will give you guys a little uh, how you call it a little challenge try to find out uh, the network card that we should select and also try to uh, fix the internal Wi-Fi card I don't even know which one it is so that is the challenge for you guys to find out and see if you can create a nice add-on for um, yeah for this beautiful laptop the e-machine is a very very nice uh, MacBook so these are the selections I choose and now we click OK and we hit next and the installation will start don't worry after everything is installed you will uh, click enter and the moment the computer reboots remove the DVD out of the laptop and just press twice on enter and your little Apple computer has just been born congratulations This is what I created. Number of cores one. Eh? My cousin was asking me how many cores has this thing. I said I think two. But there's only one core. See that? This was Puck and till my next video. By the way, I wanted to say thanks to uh, the OS X86 team. I want to say thanks to all my Mac friends out there, you know, Mac rules, Apple, cool, you know. So, all you people out there, one love and to my, alright, to my, you know, bye.